Vanakam, Namaste and blessings to everyone. This is Dr. Bhairavi Balasubramanian, PhD, the Sky Priestess, as you know. Now, I haven't been doing the astrology as of late so much because I've been more living the astrology and sharing with you what comes up. And right now, I think that's more important. We're in a space where there's a lot of churning. June is going to be a huge month um, that focuses on truth and the way we navigate our truths. And I think that's what's really triggering all of us right now. And including me, I mean, I've never said that I was beyond any of this stuff. Anyone who makes that assumption needs to revisit it. I mean, I know that the June new moon is going to be opposed the great attractor. And I know that the June full moon is going to be conjunct the galactic center. And these are really times to look at our truths and, other, and our paths. And really, that's why a lot of truth tellers are being hit with these kinds of negative perceptions and you know, negative understandings about them and projections of what they're doing. Uh, people have asked me, why is this happening to you right now and to other astrologers and teachers that I know? And this is the reason why. We're building up to this collective direction of which road do we take and who do we take it with. Now, whilst I've been seeing this massive outpouring of love and support, especially by people who do a similar job, who are working with people, who are at the cutting edge of their evolutionary work and the evolutionary work of the collective, these are the people who've been coming out the strongest going, no, you are doing your job. You are absolutely doing your job and people are getting triggered left and right because of their own shit. Process, be human, and thank you for sharing your vulnerabilities from people who do the work. I've also been seeing, you know, in that sense, those bonds and those connections of community getting stronger because we are all in this together. None of us is exempt from this. Now, some of you, are, well, not necessarily you individually, but speaking the collective you, but some of you have found my revelation of this process very, very triggering. To be honest, I'm kind of laughing about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of laughing about it um, because it's hilarious. You know, someone says, you know, I've really been brutalized by a lot of things. And the, the responses I've been getting is, oh, you're not great. You're triggered. You're just human like the rest of us. And I'm like, yeah, duh. I don't think I ever said I wasn't. You're not following your advice. Well, my advice is twofold. Be human and try not to let things get to you. That involves processing. I am not one of those people who tries to hide my human process when it comes to my work. That's why my work is my work. I don't understand why this isn't computing. Sometimes it's the, I don't have these problems. I am in alignment with spirit. Well, honey bunch, so am I. And so are a lot of people who do this work who are facing very similar issues. We have this idea that if we do spirit in a certain way, the outcome will be something else. That's not true. The universe is a really weird place. Sometimes the people who have the most light have a green light and a very gentle experience of life. Sometimes the people with the most light have a completely opposite experience because they're in the trenches, man. They're looking at negativity eye to eye and the challenge is to not get consumed by it. Everyone has a different experience. Now, you know, these are, like I said, these are laughable. These are absolutely laughable because you can see where it comes from a very, a place of smallness within a person. And I'm not laughing at the fact, at the fact people have it. I'm laughing at the fact that, so you want my free astrological advice, but when I actually speak out as a human being, you're like, you're not that great. That's the kind of energy that I'm seeing as well. But that's okay because it's part of their process. The one thing where I really did get pissed off, and I'm not talking about hurt because I've been talking about sadness and the pain that I've been experiencing, but the one time I actually did get pissed was when someone dissed my peeps. Um, because that I, I just don't tolerate that. So someone is going, well, people, weaklings come to astrology and you're getting karma by talking to people, so you have to speak in a nice way. One, do not insult the people who believe in my work or in the work of spirit. I will not be wearing kid gloves. Do not. People who seek guidance come because there is something in them that they need to understand. 
if you're talking about weakness in terms of oh you can't believe in yourself or oh you need someone else that means we're all going to be doomed even the fact of looking or trying to align with the greater spiritual principle means that we are looking for something when you try and find guidance from a person or someone who can help you are not weak you are aware of your humanity you are aware that there are things that you can't do alone this idea now that was something that just when made me go because i just feel that this kind of spiritual ego is exactly why we keep stabbing each other in the back i'm better than you i don't need this you need this it, it's it's so juvenile it's so juvenile and that's exactly the kind of dynamic that i see my sharing triggering and bringing out in people now you may under i may ask why and a lot of people have asked me why does this keep happening to you saturn conjunct the great attractor man there's some karmic bloody thing that i signed up to do as did quite a few teachers um it's a kind of energy where you can be saying roses are red violets are blue i love you and someone would find a fault with it which brings me to the next point you know a lot of people get triggered by the clarity of what i'm saying and they're like you have to be nice and sensitive and discerning and i'm sorry no that's not true gentle truths are applicable for certain states of being harsher truths are applicable for certain states of being neither is a guarantee that people are going to like you and if you are saying things in a way to get people to like you you're not doing it for spirit remember when spirit has appeared to people they had, it has not been delightful experiences that are a garden walk it has been the dark night of the soul or great illumination or even in certain religious texts when the angels come they basically have to tell the people to calm down don't freak out i'm an angel spiritual experience is not meant to be just happy go lucky or cuddly or in a state of transcendental bliss and grace it is all of the above the moment we try to limit our experience to one thing and say if you're doing it right this is what you get you're speaking from your mind you're not speaking from your deeper spiritual truth and reality am i going to talk continue talking about this yes am i going to continue showing you the fact that i am a person i am not some transcendental spiritual being that is not part of this planet i am a human person that goes through human experiences that processes through these human experiences to do my best to go to where i need to go above and within and the fact that i can do this and still do what i can do is i think what's triggering the haters the most and that is okay that is totally fine and it is totally fine for people who do this work or similar work to be able to say what they are feeling there's so much of shaming tactics that's going on in the name of being spiritual and that is just sad and you know if someone gives me that comment i'll reply but like i said if someone says that about my peeps people who have belief people who have faith people who have real conviction and compassion i'm not going to take that quietly you can be sure of that but um yeah it's yeah i'm 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 like that i have a strong protective instinct but anyway it's the kind of energy that's coming out right now and i know it's not just me i mean my phd was on the dramaturgy of ritual performances and that means that i had to study the way interactions were micromanaged the way people could present themselves in certain way to get certain outcomes i am someone who is literally qualified to put on a grand theatrical act which says i am so spirit i am so holy i am so powerful and i do not do any of that because that's the reason why this work has as bad a reputation as it does because people do it's all too easy to give you that glimmering vision of what is spirit and being a guru and being in this happy place all of the time and that's exactly why people fall for it and then they find that they've been worshiping someone with the feet of clay and then they bad mouth them i'm not going to give you that opportunity when it comes to my work transparency is what i do but anyway this is yet another message which is possibly less of a vent today 
and more of a reinstatement, more of a reaffirmment, or reaffirmment, is that a word? Reaffirming and restating that this is the sacred process. Do not shame another person's process. Do not think you know all of the spiritual processes in the world because you don't. Nobody does. I don't. And do not try to find another person's pain and another person's experience as a means of spiritual one-upmanship. That's just crap. If you're going to do that, at the very least, don't pretend to be spiritual about it because some of us will have words to say. Take care. Many blessings. Keep staying to your truth. Keep staying to your truth. Keep being who you are. Keep doing you. And you will find kindred spirits in the people who understand and who are able to say, I feel you. I hear you. I see you. And believe me, I do. Take care. Many blessings. Lots of love. Ciao, ciao for now.